we started Antor Energy, we really looked for what the biggest challenge in energy is, and, and we saw that as industrial energy. The heavy industry, the manufacturing sector, is responsible for about 30% of all global greenhouse gas emissions. And a big chunk of that comes from burning fossil fuels to create heat and to create electricity. At Antora, our solution is a thermal battery, a type of battery module that stores energy as heat instead of in electrochemical bonds. We take electricity from renewable sources like wind or solar when it's available and inexpensive to resistively heat large blocks of solid carbon. These are just like graphite blocks, so think pencil lead one of the cheapest, most abundant things you can find on the planet. What surprised us was that the energy density of thermal storage can also be extremely high. It's a factor of several greater than a lithium ion battery. Every little penny matters, and so energy density becomes really important. We're really talking about multi-day storage with one of these long duration batteries. So it would be 24 hours, 48 hours, or even hundreds of hours of storage capacity. We heat these blocks of carbon up to very high temperatures, and then we wrap them in thermal insulation so that they don't leak that heat back to the environment. We can either deliver it directly as industrial process heat to a manufacturer, or we can convert it back to electricity and deliver that. We use a special type of solar cell to capture that thermal glow coming off of the hot carbon and convert it directly into electricity. And we've now demonstrated a thermophotovoltaic device that has heat to electricity conversion over 40%, which is the world record. And that all happens in an inexpensive and solid state device instead of like a complicated heat engine like a normal turbine. And all of that is at cost parity with fossil fuels, so it's economically viable. And there's zero emissions associated with the whole process. I have tremendous optimism that we're going to be able to combat climate change. And I have that hope because I've seen the solutions, which is really exciting.